It's no surprise I got snowflakes in my eyes over you. Snowflies not only survive, but thrive at sub-zero temperatures. How is this possible? What are the adaptations in their neurons and muscles to overcome thermodynamic constraints? In the Tuthill Lab at the University of Washington, we started by studying the limits of snowfly behavior. At what temperature do they stop running around? This hasn't been studied before, probably because snowflies are challenging to collect from the wild and can't be bred in the lab. To overcome this, we created a crowdsourced science project that leveraged the expertise of backcountry skiers and mountaineers. In the lab, we monitored the activity of snowflies on a cold plate using infrared imaging with a thermal camera to record body temperature and behavior. The temperature of the cold plate decreased gradually over 25 minutes. As the temperature dropped, most flies remained active even when the cold plate dropped to minus 9 degrees Celsius. But when we looked at the videos more closely, we noticed that over half of the snowflies lost a leg during the experiment. Typically, the snowfly's leg became stuck to the plate due to freezing condensation. As the snowfly struggled to free itself, the tip of the leg froze. Ice crystals radiated up towards the body. Then the snowfly actively popped off its leg. We wondered if this could be a strategy for snowflies to survive in extreme cold, a last-ditch effort to escape before ice crystals spread to their vital organs. In fact, snowflies that amputated a leg survived significantly longer than flies that did not self-amputate their legs. And it turns out that many types of animals, including this crane fly, a close relative of the snowfly, will self-amputate their legs to escape from other types of danger. We hypothesized that this anti-predation strategy was co-opted by snowflies to survive in the cold. And in fact, in the wild, many of the snowflies that we collected were already missing legs. We observed snowflies navigating complex snowy terrain with as few as three legs. We still have lots of questions about snowflies. But as climate change shrinks the snowpack, we fear we have limited time to study them before they disappear altogether. Let it snow. Let it snow. How spicy one.